Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Super Mario 64 and today, you know what, I think today I'm actually going to do something a little bit crazy. Today I am actually going to do the upper floor levels, even though I mentioned so many times that the two levels and the secret star that are up there on the top floor are absolute garbage, but you know what, I can't avoid them forever, they have to get done eventually, so you know what, Today is going to be the day, well, we'll just explore them. I probably won't get all the stars there, like I definitely won't. But we can at least check it out. Like, we have the 50 stars required to get up here, so might as well. Now, something interesting about when you come up here, you think, like, you know, like, uh, hey, 50 stars, this is a tough floor. I could go fight Bowser right now, right? Wrong. I mean, you can go into the door. But as you can see, Bowser has a trick for you to open a door that leads to the end of the stairs. You need 70 stars! <laughs> so yeah, you need 70 stars to beat this game, or you can go up the stairs and... Yeah, this music is uh, pretty creepy, but it seems to go on forever. But funny thing is, is uh, yeah, it looks like you're going up and up and up and up, but when you stop and you turn back, you see, you haven't really gone anywhere, you... <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. I, I want to get out of there, but... Yeah, that creeped me out as a child. Alright, so... I think this toad has a star. Hey, talk to me, buddy. There's something strange about the quark as you jump inside. Watch the position of the big hand. Oh, look what I found here. Mario Catch. Oh, really? Another star you just, uh, happened to find? No explanation as to how you found us. It's just like, uh, hey, look what I found. Oh, well, it's another easy star. You know what? We, we take them easy stars. It's always a good feeling when you can start an episode of Mario 64 with a star. Oh, well, shit. Alright, let's get up there. Adjust the camera. And jump in here. And let's go down here. Is this the rainbow ride or is it the secret thing? It's the rainbow ride. God damn it. Cruiser crossing the rainbow. Great. Great. Well, here we go with rainbow ride. Probably my least favorite level in this whole game. Because, holy Jesus Christ, I hate everything about this level. So yeah, most of us just uh, sitting here enjoying a little ride on this uh, magic carpet, and uh, and it just sucks. I hate it because you miss a ride like ever. Um, you're gonna be stuck there, which is not a fun, uh, not a fun time, trust me. And well, there's a uh, a few ways you can go, and there's some ways actually where you cannot come back. Oh well, shit! I just fell off the edge. That's going to be happening a lot here. The levels up here on the upper floor are my least favorite by far. And you thought Tautau Mountain was bad because of all the falling I did there? Oh, you see nothing. I prefer Tautau Mountain over this anyways because Tautau Mountain, most of the time if I fall, there's a ledge or a cliff or some land below that I can land on. Here you fall, you got nothing to look forward to except for an endless sea of clouds. I hate this level so much. Don't you dare fall off the edge, Mario. And I can't believe the audacity of Nintendo with uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, by the way. Oh, wow. Stupid Lakitu. Hey, his sacrifice went... Didn't go... His sacrifice went uh, to a use, you know, because it did kill me. So, his sacrifice was not in vain. He, he wanted to kill the Mario, and he did it. But yeah, I can't believe the audacity of Super... of... Super... I can't believe the audacity of Nintendo. They decided immediately to make this level a stage. And it's not really that great in uh, Melee, because you know one thing I hate about the Super Smash Bros. games? I hate the auto-scrolling levels. Yeah, they absolutely suck. Oh jeez. Because all scoring levels, uh, you kind of focus less on kicking your opponent's sorry ass and focus more on uh, jumping platform to platform to stay alive. Don't you dare hurt me again, okay? I just want to get this over here, get over here and get stuff done. 
you get out of here. I, I, I have no time to deal with you and your exploding stuff. The red coins are all on this wall, by the way. And while we're here, uh, yeah, I think this is the star we'll go for. This is the, the only star here, really, that doesn't drive me insane, and I would like to keep my sanity intact today, you know? <sighs> Yay! Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, wh why did I do that? <laughs> Down, jump over, jump over, jump over, jump up, I mean, not, not over, and... Oh boy! Oh boy! You know, I, I, what I'm trying to do is not really possible. There's not really enough room on that itty bitty crap. Oh my god. No, enough room on the itty bitty... Oh my god! Ugh. I hate this so much! I think you guys can see why I hate this God damn stupid level. There we go. Okay. No! Oh. I think you have to do this all in one motion. Like, do that double jump. There we go. Alright. Freaking hell. There's only two left and I know where they are. Yeah, yeah, go on the middle step. Flip up. And flip up again. Um, yeah, we gotta jump for it. Yeah! And the eighth one is right down there. Drop down. Boom! There you go. Eight red coins. And this is actually a nightmare when, if you play the randomizer, because everything in that is randomized and all the eight red coins are not gathered in a tight little space, but hey, we'll worry about that when we get to playing the randomizer. For now, we're just going to focus on the fact that we got 58 stars, and we're just going to be happy about it, we're going to smile, and we're just uh, going to move on, and uh, not go back in there for a while. Instead, we'll go into the other level, the TikTok walk, and this this is actually interesting. If you walk in with uh, well, the position of the hands, I don't know what time it is, but I believe if you have the big hand on the 12th, time is stopped, and if it's the big hands on the 6th, I believe, I may be wrong about this, but I believe time is fast, and any other time it's uh, kind of normal speed. So, I'm gonna go in with time stopped. Row into the cage, alright. Yeah, we went in at a good time, because uh, everything is uh, completely stopped. But yeah, if you don't have time to stop, these conveyor belts are rolling, these blocks are doing their whole bouncing and flipping shit, uh, the pendulums are swinging and knocking you off. It, it, it's not a fun time here. Cause, well, there's like nothing down below, so if you fall, well, you're always in a state where you could just, uh, plummet to your death. There's the eight red coins, by the way. I think with, uh, time stop, they'd be easy to get. Should I? Eh, I guess might as well. Today can be a uh, red coin day. Yeah. Alright, so drop down here. Jump. Jump. Got it. Got it. Uh. That, uh, okay, well, I didn't want to fall all the way back down, but that's fine. My boxes give coins, so... 100 coins here, if you're going for them, not not really too complicated. But to get that, you you want time to move it, okay? Where's that last one? Let's uh, go to this view, and uh, let's look at... I can't see from here, okay. Oh god, hi, 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 bye, bye, okay, okay. Where is the final coin? Way up there. Alright, well, we gotta go up then. Let's climb! Yeah. Uh. Mario, stop being a, like an asshole shop when you do your flips, you know? Like he lands like, Waha! I'm amazing! Yahoo! 
wonder why, like, when they decide, like, uh, what Mario's occupation would be. Why did they decide to go with plumber? Is it because he goes in pipes? Like, I know plumber's attempt people's pipes, but I don't think that it's in the job description that they really go, like, enter those pipes, you know? I don't know, I've never been a plumber before. Uh, let's see from here. I, I think it's still up. Here that earth's down. Uh, I don't think it's down, yeah, but I think it's higher up. Oh god, no, please no, please no, please no. There it is, alright, it's up there. Boom! Oh, well, that's interesting. The shadow star was uh, down below, so I thought it would uh, appear down there, but it's not. It's actually going to be a bit high up. It's right there. Alright, we just gotta jump for it. Reach for the stars, man! Boom! 59 stars. And we've only been going for 12 minutes. Hmm, not bad. Stop time for red coins. Uh, you don't have to stop time for that, but it's kind of best you do. And you're probably wondering what level is up here. Well, there's none. We have actually visited all the levels at least, uh, at least one time. This, in fact, happens to be a secret star. You gotta get, fly around, collect the eight red coins. I hate doing this mission. I only do this, well, shit. Bye. I only do this mission when I'm 100% of the game, and if you fall, you're back outside the castle, so. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad about everything that just happened. I already told you guys I'm not going for a 100% playthrough, and I think the reward for getting all 120 stars, not really worth it. All you get for doing the 120 stars is... Well, you get Yoshi, and he gives you uh, all the lives you can hold. Which is nice, but come on, it's not really needed. Alright, I'm gonna go back in here. What's the next mission? I haven't been here in a while. Red coins on a floating owl. Yeah, today really is gonna be a uh, eight red coin mission day. Okay. Let's go do it. I haven't done the eight red coins when we were playing Chaos because, uh, I didn't think it would be possible. I mean, it would be possible, but you know how, how it's like uh, nerve wracking to do anything in that game because everything is just prone to crashing and crazy stuff going on that I don't know how to react to. It's just, it just happens and I just accept it when it happens, you know? Because what else can you do? Alright, four of the red coins. I'm not really going for the 100 coin stars, so I'll just focus on the red coins, okay? But yeah, it looks like today we'll end this episode. Like, we're doing nothing but red coins, apparently. And we're going to end this episode with uh, 60 stars, so... Nice! I'm actually going through this game uh, relatively quickly, aren't we? Oh, well, you know what? I had to fall down there anyways. I need that, so... Eh, eh. Yeah, I don't know how I touched that, but I did. And you know what? Don't don't question it, okay? We 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 touched it. That that's all that matters, okay? All that matters is the coin is in our possession, and strange things are happening. And I'm not even playing chaos. Like this is actually the Mario 64 game, like legit. And I've already noticed a few glitches today. I mean, I think you guys can tell that it's not Chaos because, uh, I'm in complete control of Mario. If it was Chaos, I'd be, like, uh, semi in control. Like, Mario hasn't been doing any sliding, he hasn't turned into a sign, he ha- there's been no graphical glitches where the world looks like a corrupted mess. You guys know this ain't Chaos, I would've told you in the intro it was Chaos, and you would notice from the- You guys would've noticed also from the thumbnail. And you guys would notice from uh, the fact I have 59 stars. There's no way I would do that in Chaos. Oh god. As far as uh, Chaos goes, I uh, yeah, I already told you guys I'm done with that. 
I might play some more like uh, you know every now and then just for a few laughs because I heard like the more stars you get in that game the more crazy it gets so if I kept going I could see more glitches that I haven't seen before and hearing that has kind of enticed me you know maybe like put it as one of those things you know like not one of my main series but something I do from time to time you know when I have nothing else to do we'll see Either way, that is it for Womp's Fortress. Red coins on a floating aisle. There's only uh, one more star to get there. Two more if you want to get the one heart coins. I'm not going to be doing that. Um, I'm just going to be going for 10 more stars and then we'll be ending this game soon. So I think uh, two or three more episodes and we'll be able to put Super Mario 64, uh, like finish it and move on to the next game. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me. See you guys next time. You know what, Mario? I'm kind of tired too. See you guys next time. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.